discs. Join Diane Sawyer and me for prime time. Tonight at 10, followed by Eyewitness News at 11, only on ABC7. Previously on General Hospital. You need any help? <sighs> hey, AJ, why don't you come to my house for dinner tomorrow night? Great. You have yourself a guest. One of the pieces of evidence in the Dorman murder was a black button. Really? And if that button matches the ones on Rebecca's sweater, then we may have just cracked this thing. Put your hand over your mouth, right there. Come out now, the red is on the floor. Go, go. Well, yes, there's a problem, but it's not a big one. Well, let me take a look. Why? You don't think I know the difference between a big problem and a small one? <laughs> I just thought I might be able to help. And I look like I need to be rescued. Did I say that? No, you didn't have to. It's in your genes. Well, <laughs> you got steam pouring out of your engine, and you have time to criticize my family. Family? What family? I'm talking about men in general. Woman standing on the side of the road with a hood up is automatically helpless time when the man doesn't even stop to consider the fact that the woman is perfectly capable of handling the situation by herself. Well, I beg the entire sisterhood's pardon for trying to be nice to you. See you later. Well, hey, um, I didn't mean to bite your head off there. It's a knee-jerk kind of thing. I'm kind of the independent type. Really? Yeah, my dad says I can be a real pain. Are you saying that you might need some help after all? Well, see, there you go. The minute I try to relate as an equal, it's an instant put-down. <laughs> I have never met anyone who has more preconceived notions about everybody than you do. Well, then again, you've led a pretty sheltered life, right? <laughs> I give up. I give up. If you want to stand here on this blacktop, it's hot enough to fry an egg and figure out what's wrong with your car independently, then be my guest. Good luck to you. Well, I know what's wrong. Oh. The radiator's overheated. Oh, then you should probably know how to fix it then. Well, actually, it doesn't have to be fixed. All I have to do is unscrew the cap and pour in some more water. Oh. There you go. Great. Sounds like you got all the answers. Whoa, look at the time. You better uh, go over there and put that water in. I'll see you later. You know, that is just the kind of thing they warned us about at the Academy. Having an overly dramatic imagination, making giant leaps to conclusions. You? Us, the trainees. And this is a perfect example. You have a certain type of button found in the victim's hand. You observe that same type of button missing on an article of clothing. And you conclude that the wearer of that article of clothing is the murderer. Maybe you even go so far as to imagine her locked in a struggle to the death with the victim and him pulling that button from her sweater. Well, that's what I mean by overdramatizing. Well, obviously the button had to come from somewhere. Yeah. I doubt Dr. Dolman went down to the morgue to sew it on his coat. Well, there could be any number of mundane explanations. That's why it's important for a non-professional like yourself to stay out of police business. Look, I'm not planning on making a, a, a citizen's arrest here, OK? I'm just trying to get some information. Which the police could probably do faster and more efficiently. Not from what I've seen. Look, I'm gonna get it out of her. Nicely. But you're not I'm, trained. I don't have to be trained to offer the woman an apology for being an insensitive jerk. Once she sees how sympathetic I am and what a good listener, she may well open up. But if she does, and you find out she's somehow connected with this murder, you really... Is this is Ardenowski? Well, is it urgent? I'm on assignment. Right away, sir. Uh, I have to go. My supervisor back at county headquarters wants a meeting right away. Ooh, don't tell me super troop isn't hot water. Hey, that's not funny. I'll be back. No, never doubted it. Bear in mind, though, I may take this uh, opportunity to leave the country. Ooh. Perhaps with my entire drug supply in hand. As I was saying, if you find anything out, it's your duty to report it to the proper authorities. I promise. To think about it. 
Yeah. Oh, Mr. Jacks. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Well, I'm not as happy as I am to see you up and about. Oh, I appreciate that, but I wanted to thank you for all you did at the nurses' ball. I, I don't know how we'll ever be able to repay you. Well, I have an idea. Perhaps you could answer a few questions about one of your nurses. It's important. Uh, this is it, Mac. This is it. This is where Taggart and his crew should have been looking all along. Whoever made that origami thing must have killed Dorman. Wait a minute. What makes you so sure? Look, I saw a guy threaten Dorman at the hospital, okay? And then I found one of those origami things right where he'd been standing. And then they find another one, practically the same thing, right where Dorman died. He was whacked by a pro. The rest of it was just a setup. First question that Taggart is going to ask you is if you saw this origami thing actually in the guy's hand. Because if you didn't, how can you be so sure that he had anything to do with it? So what are you saying? We can't go anywhere with this? No, we can. They won't until uh, we have enough to make them. All right, in other words, we do Taggart's job again. What else is new? Well, look at it this way. Uh, all the satisfaction you'll have thrown it in his face. Look, Jason, we have to back up. Now, you said you heard this guy threaten Dorman. I thought you said you couldn't hear anything. Right, I didn't hear. But I know what somebody who's scared looks like. Okay, I've seen people being threatened. And you have to remember, Dorman hit his stash in the stiff because he couldn't get it out on the street. Because that was Harry Silver's job. Right. And Harry's dead. There. Well, Dorman's suppliers must have been mad as hell waiting to get paid off. And the question is, if these are the people that murdered Dorman, why are they setting Brenda up for it? So, what's up? You all in one piece? Lucky us. Well, Tiger gassed us out of the safe house. Well, luckily you didn't go out the exit. He was watching. I love it when that happens. The problem is now what? Uh, well, now you get your little butts out of town. Every talking head in poor Charles is on the tube yapping about this. And this is not a good place to be, Corinthos, because the cops haven't talked to me yet. Don't worry about it. We're only going to stay here long enough for you, for you to help us out. Can, you got a problem with that? What do you need? General Hospital, brought to you by Huggies Diapers. If it makes babies happy, Huggies has it. If your plastic diaper can't breathe, there's no need to feel blue. Make a wish for the one that lets fresh air flow through. Welcome breathable Huggies Supreme. It's the only diaper that breathes all over, not just on the sides. So air flows through to baby's skin. Supreme helps keep baby dry, and healthy skin is dry skin still with remarkable leakage protection. It breathes all over, no diaper can compare. Breathable Huggies Supreme, the ultimate in care. There's so much we can do about aging today. In just one week, Pond's Age Defying Lotion will start reducing lines and wrinkles, make skin firmer, more radiant. No moisturizer can beat it. Why not have a younger looking skin? Payless, they get shoes for the beach. There's a beachwear sale at Payless with these cool styles for your family. Honey. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? David's training for the wrestling team. I'm helping. Mom says that's why it's important to eat healthy. So we're eating more salad. Lots of it when it's got the dressing we all like. Hidden Valley. Just bursting with the garden-fresh taste of herbs and spices. I feel faster already. Hidden Valley Ranch. Good things grow in Hidden Valley. And don't forget fat-free Hidden Valley Ranch. All the fresh, creamy ranch taste you love with none of the fat.
the fresh maker. You know, AT&T wants to make things simple. Yeah, but what about all these other long-distance offers? Well, one says save 30%, another save 39%, but compared to what? I understand. I'm confused. Well, AT&T can make it simple. Hey, I called AT&T at that 1-800-COMPARE. And? And I found out that I wouldn't say big over what AT&T's got. There you go. It's that simple? Pure and simple. What do you mean by pure? Nothing. You lost me on the pure. Forget pure. Well, why'd you say pure? Forget about pure. pure. pure and simple. I think they do it to hurt me. Simple, competitive prices for home or business. Whoever said comedy isn't pretty? What are you smiling about? Just picture new topless. Catch Drew Carey Wednesdays. It's comedy that's pretty. This is your brain. This is your brain watching Heller and Diller, a smart new comedy on ABC this fall. Any questions? You know, Luke, I, I do this myself, but the people I'm going to call his phones are, are bound to be wiretaps. Look, you know, and if you've got something going down, you don't have to do this for me. I'm, oh, I'm no, no, man. I think a lot clearer when I have many things at once going down. And as a matter of fact, Mike was in here earlier with a little good information for me, and it means that I've got some room on the project I'm already working on. Now, you're going to be easy to move, but you, beautiful creature, could be a problem. See, when you're trying to hold a low profile, it's a... Uh, kind of a drag when your mug has been all over billboards, you know, everywhere. So, let me see if I can do something to help that. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, so what do you think, Sonny? Is she a redhead or a uh, blonde? If this origami guy works for a cartel, maybe he or somebody else in the organization has a beef with Sonny. Yeah, that sounds plausible. Sonny's always claimed that um, he decided way back to see out of the heroin trade, if that's true. Mac, it's true. All right, then what do you think? That that ticks these guys off? They want to use his network for distribution? What? I don't know. I don't want to stand around here playing guessing games about this guy. I want to find him. Where do we start? first thing we have to do is we have to get a description down. Pass it around, see if it rings any bells. Um, a sketch would help. Now, do you remember this guy well enough to work with a sketch artist? Yeah. But where do we get a sketch artist? We don't want to have the cops involved whatsoever. Well, the guy I have in mind doesn't work for the cops. I'll see if I can reach him. Who are you getting a sketch of? Uh, well, if we're lucky, the guy who killed Dorman. Or who knows who did. And then you're going to the police. Not yet. for you, Keisha and I would have never got back together again. I'm just glad everything worked out. It worked out. I'm a married man. I mean, to think, a year ago when I met you, I was really at the bottom. I was so drunk, I still don't remember what happened. <laughs> Who knew we'd all get what we wanted, right? I mean, my life is so full, there's no room for bad memories, and I owe it all to you. It's all because of you. No. <laughs> oh. Did I forget to write something down in my book? Uh, no, I just sort of 
came up. I hope you don't mind. Well, I had a pretty long day, but just don't expect any witty conversation. That's okay. It's just some old friends. Nobody we have to impress. Who is it? Oh, my gosh, the pasta sauce. <gasps> oh, I forgot. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> ah, what can I do? Here, taste it. It's not awful. Just bland. Needs um, garlic, oregano. Hmm. <laughs> what would I do without you? Will you go take a shower and clean up and relax a little bit before they get here? Yeah, why don't you tell me who's coming to dinner? Well, you know, I, I saw Keisha Ward yesterday at the gym. And she just, she looks so, so kind of out of sorts. And I thought she could use a nice night out. Mm -hmm. That's a nice idea. And who's the other place for her? Oh, Carly, for crying out loud. Do you mind? I said I could handle it. No, I don't think you can, Sarah. If you were going to try to unscrew that cab with your bare hands. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> but I saw you put your hand in there. Well, you didn't see me touch it, did you? Well, you probably would have if I hadn't grabbed you. Well, you're wrong. I knew perfectly well that I needed a rag to hold when I loosened the valve. So you've got one. There's one in the car at home. Uh, this is Grandpa's. I guess that right. um, he used his handkerchief. Oh, okay. Um, so, so, what now? Well, I guess I'll just wait for the radiator to cool down. No, that's going to take forever. Do you, do you have any water in the trunk to fill it with? No. That's too bad. Because I have some in my car, but I'm leaving. Well, never mind about that, because the water you carry is probably from some fancy European spa, and all I really want is straightforward tap water from good old poor Charles. You know, I'll, I'll say this about you, Sarah. Once you make up your mind about somebody, it stays firmly closed. I mean, you took one look at me. You took one look at me and decided that I was just some pretentious snob. And nothing I'm going to say or do is going to change that, is it? Nothing so far. I didn't bring my chauffeur today. I mean, I brought my own car. Don't I get any points for that? Oh, yeah, and such a modest car it is. <laughs> okay, I guess I should stop giving you such a hard time. <laughs> Why now? Well, it is pretty stifling out here, and I guess I could use a little help after all. All right. I'll check in my car and see if I have a rack. Nope, no rag, but I do have some of this. Oh. Hey, I've got these. Do you think these will work? You're littering. <laughs> Sorry. May I? Dreaming. She was looking for Prince Charming. She got the King of the Jungle. He slung me on vines and fed me coconut. Wow. Not bad for a beginner. Disney's George of the Jungle. Sleep sweet, Ursula. Sleep sweet, George. Rated PG. Starts Wednesday, July 16th. When I'm with you. I believe kids today shouldn't be afraid of a little hard work. Like my Bobby, he's a whiz at cleaning the dishes. He even scrubs the really tough ones before he puts them in the dishwasher. Introducing the power of Cascade Gel. Now breaks up tough foods better. Other gels can leave this, but Cascade leaves virtually spotless results. Perfect. What a good boy. New Cascade Gel. So clean, it's virtually spotless. Take a breath. Notice anything? Well, if you happen to have a Tic Tac in your mouth, you would. You notice your breath tastes fresh. And people around you would notice your fresh breath, too. Can you breathe without a Tic Tac? Of course. But I wouldn't recommend it. What do a small one and a half calorie mint and a racy 115 horsepower convertible have in common? They take your breath away. Get a breath of fresh air with Tic Tac and win a new Volkswagen Gabriel. Peel off and peel out.
there's encouraging nutrition news about heart disease. Medical studies suggest the B vitamin folic acid may help reduce homocysteine levels in the blood, an emerging risk factor for heart disease. Centrum and Centrum Silver have folic acid, plus other important nutrients you need. The more we learn about folic acid and homocysteine, the more important it could be for you to take Centrum. Or if you're over 50, Centrum Silver. Centrum, always complete from A to zinc. Do you take this hair? In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish this hair? All the days of your life? Pantene Pro-V with the exclusive provitamin formula. From this day forth, hair so healthy it shines. Introducing Best Foods Fat-Free Salad Dressing. Now the salad. Nobody makes homemade dressing like Mom. Just like I thought. I didn't make it. Best Foods made the dressing. No one makes it like Mama. Oh, no, I didn't make it. Delicious. Best Foods made the dressing. Here's to Mama. I didn't make it. Now Best Foods adds four new fat-free dressings, all with a fresh taste of homemade. Lincoln, Best Foods made the dressing. You sold your recipe to Best Foods? We're going to be rich! We're going to be rich! New Best Foods, the freshest tasting salad dressing you never made. Diet Coke wants you to watch Port Charles all next week to find out how you can enter to win a chance to go backstage at the set of Port Charles and watch them operate. It's the Port Charles Diet Coke sweepstakes. Watch Port Charles, drink Diet Coke, and win. Where'd you get all this stuff? Oh, I've uh, collected it through the years. I find disguise is... Uh... It's a valuable thing. It's sort of my, uh, my hobby. That and disco dancing. Uh, look, how do you feel about spending time in the trunk of a car? Oh, Sonny can't get in the trunk of a car. You mean the claustrophobia? No, I mean, uh, I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. I, I just came through a pitch black tunnel and didn't even break a sweat. You notice? Uh, no, I, I didn't notice that. How, how'd that happen? Just left me. <laughs> It's weird. Well, it's great timing, isn't it? Okay, uh, you two sit tight. I'll go see some people. Um, you know, Sonny, uh, the hardest <coughs> part here is not going to be transportation. It's going to be getting you out of here. Somebody is watching. Somebody told the cops where your safe house was, right? I'd be thinking about who that might be. You know, it's uh, really decent of you to come over on such short notice. I know you got a hell of a lot on your plate right now. Are you kidding? After everything you've done for us and for Serena? No, his ears maybe a little bigger. Bigger. All right. Like that? That's it. I think I could maybe take this around and somebody would remember the guy. Yeah, thank God. And maybe he can replace Brenda as public enemy number one, and Jason doesn't have to think about this all the time. Hey, hey, Jake, come on in. Listen, I wanted to check on Jason. I heard from him. They locked him up again. Yeah, everything's fine now. All right, come on in. Jason. How you doing? I don't know how they think they can keep harassing you like this. It's, uh, it's no big deal. Hey. Hi. Hi, Mr. Stranger. I'm glad you're home. Yo, Yo thanks. Good. Kevin? AJ? What's going on here? Somebody getting their portrait done? I'm moonlighting, you might say. Ah. As an artist. A police artist, but without the police. You know, I should have hired you when I was commissioner. Jason's describing a man he thinks might have something to do with Dorman's murder. We don't know who he is yet. Yeah, well, we should give him a name. I mean, we can't call him the origami guy. <laughs> Origami. 
Yeah, we think he makes the, uh, you know, birds and animals you see out of paper, but this guy makes them with the foil around the gum. I don't know, maybe you would call him the tinfoil man or something. Tin man? Like in The Wizard of Oz? We'll rent the movie sometime. Okay, the tin man. Yeah, let me, uh, let me see. I remember when the only choice was aspirin. Next came Tylenol, but couldn't always handle all my tough headache pain. And there's a leave. But if pain comes back once you've taken it, you could be in pain hours before you can take more. No thanks. For me, the best choice is Advil. I can take Advil the way I want to. Nothing is proven to work better or last longer than Advil. Nothing. And from the makers of Advil, Children's Advil. It lowers fevers faster than children's Tylenol and lasts almost twice as long. Children's Advil. Our cover girl between camera flashes said I despise lots of gunk on my lashes. New Natural Lash Darkener gives a wonderful look. Dark, silky lashes without all that gook. So natural, how in the world? Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. How does the almond get into Hershey's Kisses with almonds? Little Hershey's Kisses with almonds. Big chocolate taste. This summer, Keenan Thompson and Kel Mitchell hit the big screen. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? They're shaking it up. Order tomatoes on this Good Burger. Consider yourself tomato. And running them down. This is what I call fast food. In the comedy with everything on it. Paramount Pictures, in association with Nickelodeon Movies, presents... Could you kindly point us in the direction of the little girl's room? Good Burger. It's all that. All what? Only juicier. Rated PG. Starts Friday, July 25th everywhere. General Hospital will continue in a moment, here on ABC. A network television premiere. I'm gonna put you away. William Hurt. Gabriel Byrne. Who knows you better, your girlfriend or your man? Next, Oprah. I've got a secret weapon to reduce the effects of aging. It's Todd. I found out it's not just tough stains, but washing clothes in the wrong detergent that can make them look old. So I switched to Tide. There's still no regular powder tougher on stains. And Tide helps clean away fuzz so cottons look new longer. With three kids, I can't afford to keep buying new clothes. So I keep them looking more like new with Tide. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Why let things get old before they're time? Remember how fresh the air smelled back home. Now get that same fresh scent in new Mountain Spring Tide. The same great results as regular Tide, but with a bold, refreshing scent. So clothes smell like the clean country air back home, no matter where you live. The best wedding of the summer is getting a great reception. I love it! If you want to be happy mother, it's your life. Never make a friend, give up for your wife. So my best friend's wedding, rated PG-13. Now playing in theaters everywhere. It's a sure thing in Southern California. 99 cent deals all day, every day at my McDonald's, like their sausage and cheese omelet muffin. Fluffy omelet, melted cheese and sausage. At my McDonald's, where the sun never sets on 99 cent deals. Today at 4, 5, and 6, the verdict is in for Iron Mike. Will Tyson ever fight again? And how big is the bite the Boxing Commission's going to be taken out of his million-dollar purse? And nobody does it better than Erica Kane, and nobody knows her better than Susan Lucci. Now, All My Children's Daytime Diva has written a revealing book on having it all. Then at 5, a bizarre shooting outside a prison yard. A woman opens fire and kills a death row inmate. Then more bloodshed when guards fire back at her. What provoked the murder? Today on Eyewitness News at 4, 5, and 6. Oh, I'm going to be somewhere for dinner. But before I go, can I uh, talk to you for a minute? Sure. All right. Hey, it's great seeing you all. See you, Good to see you. Bye. Bye, Robin. <laughs> You know the guy in the picture, don't you? No, well, not exactly. It's not like we've ever met, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him a few times. Where? This old hole I used to drink in. The kind of place that makes Jake's look like the Ritz. Small, sort of crummy. Attracts the kind of people you don't want to know and who don't want to know you, but it 
served its purpose at the time. And you didn't want to say you'd been there? Yeah, but right. I'm pretty sure your tin man hangs out there. All right, what's the name of the place? Zebra Lounge. Yeah, you're right. The zebra lounge is pretty rough. I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to talk you out about going there, so why don't you wait till I can go with you? Look, AJ, I need to do this alone. I'll be fine. Be careful, all right? Kevin. Thanks again, Kevin. Anytime. I couldn't pay back what we owe you if I drew you a picture every day. Hello. Yes, hold on one second, please. It's for you. Thank you. Take it. I'll see you. Scorpio. All right. Yeah, I got it. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Must have been some kind of homecoming finding Jason in jail. Well, I wish I could say it was a first. But loving Jason comes with certain things. Like fear? Well, I have to have some. The guy doesn't have any. Usually I can deal. I, I guess I just... I'm out of practice. I've been away too long. You're not going to tell me I shouldn't be with him, are you? <sighs> Even if I were that presumptuous, I wouldn't dare. What if someone told Lucy that about me? I think Lucy's lucky. We love who we love. I don't know how much choice we have in the matter. It always seems to defy logic. Thank God. Please give her my love. And I haven't even told you how great it is about the baby. You are going to be the best dad. Well, at least I have the benefit of a bad example. Welcome home. Thank you. Mm. Walk you All right. Hi. Hi. So long, Jason. Thanks for your help. Sure. You all right? Everything is always all right when you're home. Jax, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but emergencies are a way of life around here. Well, that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering what you could tell me about Rebecca Chase and her relationship with the late Dr. Dorman. Well, not much, really. I, I shouldn't discuss it because she's on probationary status here now, ever since it came out that she perjured herself on the witness stand when Dr. Dorman sued Monica. Yeah, and yeah, she must have been quite attached to Dorman to uh, commit a crime for him. Oh, I couldn't even speculate about that. Well, I don't mind. I mean, I've worked with Rebecca for months now, and I probably know her as well as anybody else now, around here. wait a minute, Amy. It is not proper to speak about her right now. Oh, come on, Audrey. It's no big secret how broken up she was over his death. I mean, she was crazy about him. Do you think she might have known anything about Dolan's drug connections? No, I really kind of doubt that, because she was really into thinking that he was Dr. Perfect. I mean, he could have told her anything, and she would have believed it. No, I think it's pretty obvious now. They were having an affair. Oh, for heaven's sake, Amy, you can't possibly know that. Did she tell you as much? No, but you know how you see something and you don't really see it until you think about what you saw? Well, she was so weepy over his death, and believe me, nobody else around here was. Then, they were so overly professional to one another. You know, like, nurse chase this, yes, doctor, no, doctor. And then I caught her shooting these sidelong glances at him. And at first I thought he was cute. Because he was cute, obviously, in an icky kind of way. But then I realized it was just plain lust. Amy, that is enough. That is pure conjecture and gossip. And will you please get back to your files? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jacks, but a lot of work has backed up since being gone so long. Of course. Well, thank you for your help, Mrs. Hyde. Ah, yes. Oh, Rebecca, uh, Miss Chase, please, do you have a moment? I need to tell you something. Nothing I want to hear, I'm sure. Well, I owe you an apology. <laughs> I was very insensitive before about something that's enormous for you. Well, at least let me explain. There you go. 
You're not going to even check that I tightened it enough? It's your car. Besides, you, uh, you don't look like a weakling. Thanks. Oh. Yeah, you probably just take off your clothes every night and throw them away and, uh, put on brand new ones in the morning, right? No, actually, no, that's, that's not true, because then what will my servants do? Of course, what I would do is I'd take my shirt home and I'd make them scrub out every stain. And if there was even a trace of dirt left on it, I'd have them all flogged. <laughs> you can be funny. Yeah. Well, I've been working on it since you, since you lectured me about it the other night. Well, you don't have to work on it. Just let it show more often. Well, I do let it show. When it's, when it's appropriate. I just think that when we're in a place where there's work to be done, that we need to behave accordingly, you know? You mean me? Have I been misbehaving well, on the job? Wait a minute, who said anything about you? Well, I'm the only other one here. And you, of course, are above reproach. Now who's lost their sense of humor? Look, it's hot out here. I'm late. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. See you later. Bye. We're here at the Grand Canyon to introduce new Shaman Triple Row. So, how long is it? It's three times longer than a single row. Three times longer. In fact, it's over a hundred feet longer than a double row. Over a hundred feet. No other tissue lasts longer. And it's so soft. It's a great combination of softness and length. New Shaman Triple Row. Three times longer and it still fits. What would you do with a hundred grand? I would buy everyone a puppy. I would sprinkle flower seeds all over the world. I'd eat it. <gasps> Rich chewy caramel, creamy milk chocolate, and crispy little crunchies. A hundred grand from Nestle. That's rich. Which of these multivitamins is packed with every essential vitamin and more calcium, but no added sugar or lactose? It's not one a day, Nature Made, or Centrum. It's only Geritol Complete. Geritol, complete for what's in it, special for what's not. On Super Bowl Sunday, the country watched another dream come true. You just won $10 million from Publishers Clearinghouse. Ten million? Yes. But now you don't have to wait until Super Bowl Sunday to become a millionaire. August 14th, the Publishers Clearinghouse Prize Patrol will surprise a new million-dollar winner right on TV. <laughs> Enter now, and it could be you. I could use something for this headache, Liz. I've got Tylenol. I thought you used something else. No, my doctor told me to switch. Really? How come? He said Tylenol won't irritate my stomach the way aspirin and even ibuprofen sometimes can. And Tylenol's strong enough. Oh, yeah. It works great. To avoid the risk of stomach irritation, Tylenol is the pain reliever doctors recommend most. You ready for more guy talk? I am now. Tylenol, the pain reliever hospitals use most. My teeth. Oh. Beige. Off white. Off white. <laughs> Mother of pearl. No matter how great your smile is, don't you wish it could be whiter? Now it can. Introducing new Colgate Whitening Toothpaste. It has baking soda and peroxide and an extra ingredient for healthy teeth that are whiter. Let's try this again. For whiter teeth, new Colgate Whitening. How safe are you in your own home? One minute you're on the phone, and the next minute, shot dead. You won't believe who did it. The chilling story. Plus, buying a diamond? Nervous? You ought to be. It's easy to be fooled. Our undercover investigation discovered it's buyer beware. Primetime rocks the diamond business. ABC Tonight. Jane Seymour in a film inspired by actual events. No! They want to stop me from telling the truth. They're going to have to kill me. A passion for justice, ABC Sunday. I can't believe that you didn't warn anyone of them. Now, neither of them know that the other one's going to be here? Tony, that is the whole point. I mean, they're both totally gun-shy. I had to do it this way. Why? 
Because, look, you didn't see the way they looked at each other the other day at the gym. He was over there pretending to be working away, and she's shuffling papers around. But then every time they got a chance, you kind of casually glance around the room. And if the other one wasn't watching, they took a good, long look. It was just, it was so cute. You could just feel the love and the longing. Somebody had to do something. Yeah, but why you? Because I was there. And I saw the need, and oh. I just want everybody to be as happy as we are. Now, we worked out our differences. Why can't they? And they'll just live happily ever after. I don't see why they can't do exactly that. I mean, I'm just providing the atmosphere and the opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> Flowers. Uh, where'd you get those? Oh, well, I got them at the grocery store. They were on sale really cheap. Yeah, I bet. Are, are, uh, uh, is that a dried arrangement, or...? Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, well, what about pasta sauce? Are you going to have enough? Oh, yeah, I have plenty. I also made a chicken. I put it in about an hour ago. That's funny, because I don't smell any chicken cooking. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> I forgot to turn on the oven. <laughs> oh, God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I think it's... it's you're sort of playing Dolly Levi right now. You're a matchmaker. Honey, it's okay. Not funny. Come on, I don't have time to make more sauce. What am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. You're going to go to the deli, and you're going to pick up a roast chicken, and you're going to smuggle it in in your jacket. And if you make even <laughs> the slightest little giggle when I serve it to these people that I didn't cook it. <laughs> your secret is safe with me, ma'am. One chicken coming up in my jacket. <sighs> frazzled oh you know what I just I just need to catch my breath I was holding it the whole way over here scared to death I'd run into AJ I know he's living in your building and believe me he is the last person I need to see right now um. you've had a terrible time of it haven't you and I suspect no one understands I mean I didn't earlier and now you think you do well everyone's pain is particular I think the best any of us can do is offer some uh, empathy. I, mean, I, I can't say I've walked in your shoes, but I can relate to some degree. You see, I loved someone once, and I trusted her. And she lied to me on a massive scale. But still, I loved her and defended her, to a point, of course. You are not talking about Brenda, are you? No, I'm not. I'm simply trying to say is that when something like this happens, it alters your life totally. I mean, I should have realized that before instead of taking issue with you. But I was obsessed with the wrong person being accused of a crime. But the crime isn't the point for you, is it? The loss is. A loss that's that much greater because it's left you doubting yourself. Thank you. You're the first person who's come anywhere near understanding what hell this has been. No one here knew who or what Pierce was. Now they think he's a monster, but it wasn't that simple. We had such a wonderful secret together. We were in love. But no one could know. I would have walked through fire for him. Well, you are right now. And then he was dead. And I found out he had a lot more secrets. I don't know what forced him into dealing drugs, but I know that he must have been desperate. Maybe he fell into debt with some loan shark or something and thought it was the only way to get out fast. He was going to leave town. Yes. We were going to leave here together the next day.
Was I such a fool to believe that? Was he using me? Or was he protecting me? I have so many questions, and now I'll never be able to look him in the face and ask them. I'll never see him again. I'm sorry. When did you see him last? Why? It was Lauren's bath time, and Becky wanted to help. I was using the new all-over baby wash, Johnson's Head to Toe. I heard it's milder than every baby soap. Just then, Becky accidentally dropped the bottle and splashed Lauren's face. I got upset, but Lauren just laughed. I should have known it would be okay. It's as gentle to her eyes as pure water. New Johnson's Head to Toe, the hair and body baby wash. Not just gentle, Johnson's gentle. don't look clean, what are they going to think about the kitchen? One waiter in a stained shirt, and forget it. Our food makes really tough stains. Before, with the detergents we tried, we couldn't get this grease out. But now, with this new Tide with bleach alternative, I can really see a difference. It's got to be clean. It's got to be Tide. This is the best-looking family on the block, and I'm proud of it. Thanks for coming. To get a fresh mountain spring scent in your clothes, you could add mountain snow, wildflowers, or spring water to your wash. Or just wash them in new Mountain Spring Tide. The same great cleaning, now with a fresh Mountain Spring scent. Try new Mountain Spring Tide. Look for it along with regular Tide. Hey, Fred, want the Brontosaurus burger? No, Barney, I'm driving. Oops, I dropped my fries. Watch the confidence, pterodactyl. This new twister sure makes for a smooth ride. What? Welcome to the 90s. Everybody needs a little KFC. Now you can try the new Bacon Ranch Twister, plus a Pepsi, just $2.99. Want some waffles? <laughs> waffles? Are you crazy? I don't have time for waffles. You do if they're Eggo Cinnamon Toast waffles. Try them. Where's the butter and syrup? Are you crazy? You don't have time for butter and syrup. They're the first waffles with a baked-in sweet cinnamon mm. taste. So they're great, even without butter and syrup. What's eating, Dad? Waffles. Are, Are you crazy? crazy? You don't have time for waffles. Eggo Cinnamon Toast Waffles. Hey, you've got time for waffles. They tried our refreshing blue flavor. Mm. They tried our minty green flavor. Mm. Then we told them both were Listerine. Mm. Cool Mint and Fresh Burst Listerine. All of Listerine's germ-killing power mm. with great taste. Took the pregnancy test, said we were pregnant. Later, we come to find out that we weren't pregnant. Human error can cause pregnancy test failures. EPT is designed to help eliminate human error. It's simply the easiest test you can use. So accurate, we call it the error-proof test. She's a bad girl. What do you want? It's gonna cost you a lot more than this. Having a bad week. Where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a fuck. How bad can it get? Reeve Lambert? Yes. I'm placing you under arrest. Are you ready to get more? Watch for Charles, ABC Daytime. Your parents, your grandparents, wait till you hear how much Medicare money never gets to them, just when they need it most, on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. This is such a nice apartment. Oh, thank you. Um... Nothing fancy, but I love to putter around here, you know. <laughs> I have a bedroom there, mm -hmm. and then there's a little balcony. Oh, that's... It's small, but it's comfortable. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, who else is, um, coming to dinner? Oh, just a, a friend of Tony's. Male or female? Male. Is that a problem? <sighs> Carly. I really hope you're not trying to set me up with someone. I was so looking forward to a relaxed evening tonight. Not that any friend of Tony's wouldn't be cool, but... That's probably Tony. I, I sent him out to get a few things. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Something came up with my brother and... I'm sorry, 
sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. I was just wondering if your last memory was a good one. You, when, when someone dies, you want to think that the last time you were together, you at least shared something positive. What's the difference? Dead is dead. Uh, I, I need to get back to work. Uh, Rebecca, there's just, just one more thing. Perhaps I'm being too familiar here, but... Uh, I feel I need to tell you this. Look, it's obvious to me that he never would have hurt Pierce Dorman. But I have reason to believe the police may feel differently. What do you mean? Well, apparently they found something in Dorman's hand when he died. A button, like the one missing from your sweater. All right, we'll, uh, we'll start taking these around and ask questions tomorrow. But you know, in the meantime, uh, you should go out with Robert and celebrate her coming home. Have you made any plans? No, not yet, Mac. All right, look, um, I've got an old friend. He has a place just out of town on the water. Usually it's booked solid during the summer, but I'll call him and see if he can spring a table for you. That'd be great, thanks. Okay. Iced tea with mint <clears throat> mm. sugars. That sounds great, but can you put mine in the fridge while I have to go out? Right now? Yeah, it'll just, uh, it'll just be a few minutes. It'll be fast. I'll come right home. We'll celebrate all night. Really fast. Really fast. Jason, wait. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling right now. Wherever you're going, please don't go. What do you mean? Well, don't you think you should wait? Wait until what? Are you... I'm not gonna ask that. Look, I don't... I don't want you to feel bad. But there's no reason, is there? Can't someone go with you? I mean, Joseph or someone? I, I won't be gone long. We'll come, I'll come back. We'll go right to dinner. Can't we go right now? Look... Sonny knows things. He tells you what's safe and what's not. He's not here to watch over you right now, and you don't watch out for yourself. Look, I know you were scared when you called home from school, okay? And there's no Mac, no Brenda, no Sonny, no me. And I'm sorry that happened. Do you know what I felt? The first thing I felt when my Uncle Mac told me that you were in jail? Relieved. That was all. And, and you were right. It was nothing. What? I won't be gone long, I promise. I'll be right back. anyone in this box who I can be. You don't have to be. You just have to look. Damn. I wish you'd get here so we can just get the hell out of here. You know, it's going to be weird for me, right? I mean, if we're planning on just leaving here, not knowing when or if we're going to be coming back, if that's the case, there are people who I really wanted to say goodbye to. Yeah. I mean... I can do this, you know, I'll be strong. It's just Robin's coming home. Listen to me. I'm gonna make sure that you see Robin and Jason and, and whoever else you're counting on. Okay, boys and girls. We're set. What do you got for us? Something you would not expect. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. Everyone knows we give away millions on Super Bowl Sunday. 
now we're bringing Super Bowl excitement to summer. August 14th, Publishers Clearinghouse will surprise a new million dollar winner right on TV. Enter now and it could be you. Oh, oh. Some men think strong opinions are a sign of PMS. Real PMS includes headaches, cramps, bloating, which make you feel miserable. But Midol PMS helps you feel like yourself again. Opinions and all. For PMS, nothing works better than Midol PMS. You know, meat's a dog's natural food. Meat's what they love. So that's why I feed mine Pedigree, the number one meat dog food in America. It's 100% complete and balanced and keeps them in great shape. Pedigree, developed with vets, recommended by top breeders. Does your tissue leave you with a problem on your hands? He blows his nose, he goes right through the tissue, and his hands get all wet. And so's the ball and, and everyone else's hands. That's why there's Puff's Advanced Extra Strength, the tissue that keeps hands cleaner and drier than regular tissue. Drier is definitely better. Puff's Advanced is 60% thicker. Thicker? They really are soft. This should protect their hands, and I'll protect the azaleas. Protect them with Puff's Advanced Extra Strength. Soft as your touch, strong as your love. Caesar, I am not eating that. Everybody's out there. It's crap, Caesar, and you're right. You're not. Everybody's out there. What if I want to? Sorry, dude. But no matter where you go, one thing every mom knows. This is one of those things you're gonna like when you're older. Everybody's got a taste of Try the sophisticated new taste of Kraft Caesar. Classic or Italian, regular or fat-free. Everybody's got a taste of I'm 56 in dog years. Ooh. Nobody knows how checks can do it. Let the milk splash right through it. Then hold the milk till your mouth gets to it. Checks marks the spot. Light and crunch, little sweet. Simple as corn and rice and wheat. Looking for a taste no other cereal's got. Checks marks the spot. Checks marks the spot. Woo! And now checks marks the spot for the free checks quest CD round game. One free in specially marked boxes of checks. The bounty is in for a tempting lunch dish. Just $4.99 for shrimp as you wish. Create a shrimp lunch. Choose any two kinds. It's $4.99 for a very short time at Red Lobster. Prepared so fresh, you can taste it. The 90s are not the 60s. There's no such thing as a harmless drug in a world this dangerous. Talk to your kids about marijuana. Tomorrow on General Hospital. I believe that I must have something that you want. Why can't I have you both here in the same place at the same time? Is that so terrible? You were one of the last people to see him alive. What happened, Rebecca? Hello? Hey, I just missed him. This is Kevin Newman. Tomorrow, how your old business clothes could help someone get off welfare and into a job. Plus, from today's best-selling authors, the must-read books for this summer on Good Morning America. Your parents, the billions in Medicare money they won't get.